this is Janine and this is a video where I'm taking you through my process of making these fluid organic witchy candle sculptures. So please bear with me whilst I'm attempting to film and document this process. Very recently I have created a series of large-scale biomorphic wax sculptures as part of my Unearth series, inspired by forms found in nature, such as caves and cave formations. In this video, however, I'm focusing on a technique working rather intuitively and free and yet all hand sculpted and hand dipped as a process on these mystical wax beings that no doubt have a bit of a witchy feel to it, not gonna lie. <laughs> these are also inspired by forces and formations of nature. I have been observing trees or roots or root systems actually that often are so beautifully intertwined and create shapes that are just so organic. But um, let's begin. As you can see I have already prepared a good amount of thin but long candles. Those I have dipped already in advance. They are different in length, some are longer than others, but in general, they are quite thin for a reason. So what I'm going to do is to let them sit in a warm water bath so that they regain their softness and that I'm able to manipulate and reshape them in the forms that I envision. So I let them sit in the hot water bath for about 10 to 15 minutes. And after that I'll start to shape them by twisting and bending them, combining two or three or maybe more um, into a new structure. Then I would go ahead and dip them in my hot wax container that contains a pure beeswax here. And I'm doing so repeatedly, so with each dip there is a new layer of wax that basically coats and fuses those individual strands together. I have been forever fascinated with pagan rituals and the tradition and the worship of nature. So as you can see, it reflects a bit in those candle shapes. And after a long, long summer, we are slowly moving into a new season and into a new rhythm time of year that I personally really love when the nights are getting longer again and I can shamelessly immerse myself in movies that reflect that mood. You know it, here already the craft, um, a film about witchcraft, obviously a classic. Hey. 
paganism in itself honors the rhythms of nature by celebrating the changing of the seasons with unique festivals. There are many pagan traditions that we still celebrate today. Old traditions, really, really old traditions that existed long before the church came around to claim them. Think about Christmas, think about Easter, think about the May 1st activities. So um, please stop the radio right here and go and watch Midsummer. And there's also St. John's Eve, which is celebrated on June 23rd. St. John Eve is closely associated with the Midsummer festivities in all over Europe. Traditions include gatherings, feasting and large bonfires that were lit to repel evil. A night that coincides with the June solstice and happens to be the shortest night of the year. So there's another hint back to pagan beliefs and celebrations that were held to give strength to the sun god and thank him for the year's harvest. But with the arrival of Christianity, the pagan tradition changed its name and adopted that of St. John's Eve. Surprisingly, I got to experience San Juan myself this summer on a Spanish island. For the very first time, I celebrated La Noche de San Juan. And let me tell you, it was a magical night. There is just something about fire that is so, so mesmerizing and that triggers something so very, very deep within. Taking a fire into a home in form of a candle and taking time to light it is such a beautiful ritual in itself. Whilst I'm dipping my life away here, it hopefully becomes more clear and obvious that the more you dip, the candle becomes more stable with each layer and each coat. And it is you who decides when to stop and when you're actually satisfied with your shape. And to sum it all up, I want to share some final views of my wax sculptures in action. Of course, I couldn't help myself and take them to that marvelous Spanish island I mentioned earlier and to light them at the bottom of a volcano and in between hardened and cold lava fields that just gives so much more mystery and atmosphere to that ritual of lighting those candles.